we got another challenge lock up in the vise today. This one came from West Coast Picks. It is the cake challenge lock. Harley, thanks for the lock. I really appreciate it. And I hope you don't mind that I've been lately copying an idea off of you, and that's by putting people's channel links in the corners of the screen. And yours is going to be there, too. It's just a good idea, so too bad I didn't think of it first. Nothing yet, just feeling for my first binder. There's a little click off of one. My pick kind of got stuck up there, too. That was weird. Click off a six. I've got a little tiny falset going now. A little click off a four or five. Okay, a little click off a one. Little click there off of five. You got a few clicks off of three there. And my pick got stuck on two. There's one slight problem with these fifteen thousandths. They can sometimes get stuck between the pins and the uh, chambers. Okay, just got a click there. I think that was off a of four. Is this going to wind up being another camera shy lock, guys? It's definitely not easy. So if he named it for the cake because he thought it was easy, definitely not. Finally got a little bit of turn on the core off of one. Got a little bit more off of three, a little bit more off of two. I got a little bit more turn on the core. Must be hitting T pins now. Got a little bit more off of six. Okay, everything's pretty high up there, so I want to switch picks and pick from the ledge here. Pick stuck. There we go. That was off of pin three. Man, I got put up a pretty nice little fight. Definitely not an easy lock. The feedback was kind of weird. 
T-pinish, then all of a sudden you'd lose every bit of feedback you had. Okay, I got a better one of those around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. And because this is a West Coast Pix lock, I will shim it. It's definitely hitting something there. Let me flip my shim around. There we go. There, I finally worked my way past it there. And I will need a follower. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and dump these pins out. Like everything is working, I see a reduced diameter on five. Oddly enough, though, I didn't see any threads. It must be tight tolerances, though, because these things aren't wanting to come out real easy. And there's no grease in here. The grease is normally what kind of holds them up. Okay. Well, I guess there was some grease in there at all. It smells like WD-40. No modifications to the plug whatsoever. And as far as the drivers go, we've got all serrated key pins. That one's a serrated inside of the spool serrated. And that's a reduced diameter. So, nothing too crazy there. And that is de definitely WD-40, it smells like. Okay, I've got a pin and pin for one. I've got a wedding cake on two. I've got another wedding cake that's also a spool. And now I know why this lock is called the cake. <laughs> I've got a uh, serrated spool. I've got a serrated. If I can get it out of here. Oh, that's a pin and pin. So, basically four T-pins in this sucker. Two of them pin and pins. He does have varying spring tension, different types of springs in some of the chambers, but I don't see any threads around them, so I'm not going to take them out and take a chance on messing those up. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at what Harley stuck in here for us, because he made a pretty good lock here. I already showed you the key pins, so here's this first pin and pin. It's got serrations, but it's also... Oh, sorry, I'm not even in frame. It's got serrations, but also the uh, flat parts aren't the same diameter. So it's kind of serrated and spooled between the serrations. And being a T-pin on top of it. Then I got a really nice wedding cake here. Then another wedding cake that's out on the bottom of a spool. And I've got this, uh, kind of a nifty little serrated spool. It's uh, stepped down and kind of serrated as it steps down. Then I've got a nicely serrated pin here. And I've got another one of those 
Interesting, interestingly serrated pin and pins. So, and that's what Harley stuck in here for us, guys. Really neat lock. Fun little pick. And if this thing had serrated chambers in the core, it would have been probably harder, but I don't think it really needed to be. It was a fun lock. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the key mummied since that's kind of what the trend is lately. Uh, everyone else, or Harley actually, thanks for the lock. I really appreciate it and thanks for all the locks and the pocket picks and everything that you sent. Um, everyone else, please stay safe, don't do anything illegal, and please like and subscribe.